I don't know how it is at other schools, but at mine, not too many people are into politics. One final thing. Has anybody given any thought to running for student body president this year? Anyone else? <laughs> Thanks for the uh, levity, Merton. <laughs> yes. Uh, just give it some thought, everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for the dapple. Hey there, big guy. How's the master of the underworld? Did you get the tie I sent you? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm aware I owe you a soul. <laughs> it's been tough. Soul by Friday, or... Uh, no, that won't be necessary. I, I, I'll get you your soul. Goodbye. Yeah, uh, say hi to Mrs. One soul coming right up. my spirited opposition in the form of protest, pamphleteering, and slander. I see. Well, memo to self. Cut all funding to unnecessary clubs, including and especially the Gothic Fantasy Guild. You wouldn't. I would. All right. I've steered clear of politics up till now, but my days of complacency are over. Merton J. Dingle is getting involved. What are you gonna do? Run against me? Don't be absurd. Why me? I mean, isn't that more a Hillary Choach thing? Hi! Can't you see through it? Her extracurricular activities? Her work at the community center? The way she champions the weak and defenseless? Tommy, she's a monster! Do you have a crush on her or something? <laughs> no. What I have is a, is a moral responsibility to prevent that soulless grade grubber from carrying out her sinister plans. What plan? <laughs> her infamous and controversial no more chicken in the cafeteria pledge. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tommy. Yeah. She's a vegan. Yeah. You enjoy chicken parmesan, right? Oh, well, yeah. Gone. Chicken pot pie? Gone. Chicken fried steak? Gone, fried, gone. Well, someone's got to do something. As of this moment, Hillary's running unopposed. So... Well, not anymore, she's not. Tommy Dawkins is throwing his towel into the ring! <laughs> Tommy Dawkins? <laughs> now you're talking. Good to see you're taking up the torch of democracy, Tommy. You know, politics is an ambitious arena. A lot of people would sell their souls to win an election. Oh, yeah? Oh, absolutely. Question, Tommy, is would you sell your soul? Nah. Nah, I think I'll just let the voters decide. But thanks for the motivational speech, Mr. McGee. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I'll be here if you change your mind. About your soul. <laughs> You're a real kidder, Mr. McGee. I'll see you around. <laughs> the candidate in an orderly manner. No flash photography or erudite questions, please. Who put you up to this, Tommy Dawkins? Nobody. What? what? It was Merton Dingle, wasn't it? 
He's been doing everything he could to make my life miserable since sixth grade. Oh, Satan! There you are. Yeah, I didn't hear your rumbling hoof falls. Save it, Merton, you spiky little magpie. Minx? Meddler! Mm. 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 I'm out of M insults. Can we try N? <laughs> Welcome to the race, Tommy. I thank you. Just remember one thing. Hey. This is my election. Come in. It's not fair. Tommy Dawkins hasn't been on student council. He hasn't paid his dues like I have. I want this. I need this. I'd sell my soul to win this election, Mr. McGee. Excuse me? W would you repeat that sentence in a uh, <laughs> clear voice? I said that it's not fair Tommy Dawkins is running against me. The other sentence, Hillary. That he hasn't been on student council or paid his dues? No, not that one. Which sentence are you referring to, Mr. McGee? The one about your soul? Oh, well, I was just saying I would sell my soul to win this election. That's how badly I want it. Well then, consider it done. Anyone who wants to win as badly as you do, Hillary, deserves to. Thanks for listening, Mr. McGee. Mm. <sighs> I was just saying I would sell my soul to win this election. Oh, I can work with that. <laughs> future i'll change the future i won't just rest on my some passion. people are more comfortable giving speeches than others i guess i'm one of the others of course when i get nervous i will out. come on oh, sorry i think i got it under control okay here's your speech okay now i reworked the final passage where you liken hillary to italian dictator benino mussolini it might seem harsh but i think it's fair Now remember, Tommy, elocution. Hey. <clears throat> uh, for time in memorial, from the Greek cities, states to China's Wang Pu Tong dynasty, bold men and their brilliant campaign managers. <clears throat> Uh, f uh, uh. Look, I'm not that good at giving speeches and stuff like this. <laughs> really not. But I promise to fight for all of you guys, just like I did against Muhlenberg when we were down by three with seven seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Dropping out, Mr. McGee. I can't beat Tommy Dawkins. He's too popular. We had a deal, Hillary. Or, more precisely, you had a deal with yourself. <laughs> You're going to win this election, Hillary. I personally guarantee it. You believe in me, Mr. McGee? Boy, howdy. <laughs> you deal with your election campaign. I'll deal with Tommy Dawkins. the Department of Imperfections. Right, right, right. Hello. Yes, uh, send up a file on Dawkins Thomas ASAP. Candidate right, Dawkins, forging alliances across the social spectrum. Next. Uh, Thank you very much. Whew. Ah, hey, hola. Thank you. Ah, hey, Mr. McGee. Tell me, you need to drop out of the election. Why? I've come across some rather compromising evidence I don't think you would like to come to life. <laughs> G. 
Jig is out. I know your little secret. <laughs> He's bluffing. Yeah, sure. You're a werewolf, Tommy. I have pictures of you transforming. He's not bluffing. McGee's gonna spoil my secret. What should I do? Nothing. I'm your campaign manager. I'll handle this with professionalism, dignity, and integrity. Okay, what are you gonna do? Sneak into McGovern's office and get the negatives? Ooh, I don't know about that, Martin. Relax, Tommy. Remember who you're dealing with. I've studied the DVD of Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible. I have the art of stealth entry down pat. <laughs> file complete with incriminating negatives hello what's this which sentence are you referring to mr mckee the one that loved your soul i was just saying i would sell my soul to win this election that's how badly i want it what the faust is going on here just a little soul swiping Funny, I thought I stopped the tape. Most of my deals don't go as smoothly as that one. <sighs> so, you're a soul-stealing agent of the Dark Dominion. What's that like? Election tampering, Merton. Obviously, you didn't learn very much from my civics class. Guess I'm going to have to teach you another kind of lesson. Hey, if the lesson you're referring to has a physical component, uh, you should know I'm an asthmatic with incurable shin splits, so... <laughs> Goodbye. No! Tommy, you saved me! I knew breaking into McGovern's office was a bad idea. But look what you did to his floor! His floor? Tommy, McGovern tried to send me all expenses paid to the underworld! He's a soul-swiping agent of darkness, a bona fide demon! And he's a civics teacher? I think of that as his least impressive credit, but yes! Now we gotta warn Hillary, ASAP! Wait, uh... Be a dove and carry me? My souls were seared in the fracas. All right, come on. Whoa, Whoa mind the hell, Whoa. Whoa. So you're saying Mr. McGovern is a demon from the underworld who tried to trick me into selling my soul? Exactly. That is the cheapest, lamest, stupidest campaign trick I have ever heard of in my entire life. No, it isn't a trick. Mr. McGovern is an agent of darkness. I heard the whole transaction on his tape. Oh, and I suppose you have this tape? No, it plummeted down a fiery hole into the flames of Hades. Yeah, I guess my story does have its preposterous elements, but it's all true. You've tried your tricks, Martin Dingle. Now, let the people decide. So everybody turned up the vote, but... What they didn't realize was there was a lot more than an election at stake. Attention, students. The votes for student body president have been tabulated, and the results are Tommy Dawkins, 210. Hillary Choate, 169. Making Tommy Dawkins the clear winner. <laughs> on the part. 
part of Mr. Dawkins' campaign manager, Merton mm -hmm. Dingle. Tommy Dawkins is disqualified, making Hillary Choate the winner. Oh! 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 We all withdraw. <laughs> Where are you in? Martin, we gotta go save Hillary or she's a goner. Okay, meet me in front of McGovern's classroom after seventh period. Stand guard outside the door and no matter what you do, do not let Hillary go in. <laughs> so, what are you doing this weekend, ladies? side of our deal will be thanks enough. Deal? <gasps> oh, I put a lot of effort into those posters, Mr. McGee. I would sell my soul to win this election. That's how badly I want it. Oh, you can't be serious, Mr. McGee. Oh, a deal's a deal, young lady. <laughs> Keep your hands off her soul, McGovern. You're too late, Tommy. Now give Hillary's soul back, you weirdo. Weirdo! I am an eighth level demon. Show some respect. Besides, it's not her soul anymore. One more step, and I will smash this canister. She made the deal, but you tricked her. A contract is a contract. Which is why I'd like to direct your attention to Exhibit A. A little artifact from Camp Cucamonga, August 95. It was a summer of canoes. It was a summer of mosquitoes. It was a summer of love. Your contract, McGovern, is superseded by said poem addressed to one Merton J. Dingle from one Hillary Choate. I like your braces. You like mine, too. I like pizza and all of that goo. May we be together till the cows come home to moo. I pledge you all of my heart and my soul, too. May I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'll be done. <laughs> it's legal. She was double dealing me, so cough it up. <clears throat> Three and a half centuries of getting to eight level demon. I have to go do janitorial service in Hades because of a bunch of bratty little kids. Fine, take your little soul back, you little brat. I didn't need this job in the first place. I could have been a lawyer. Big guy's not gonna be happy with me. Hey, now. Come on. Uh, well, congratulations, Hillary. You won fair and square. But my soul, didn't that awful Mr. McGee try to take it from me? Yes, but Merton here saved you. Yeah. Oh, you kept it all this time? Under my pillow, which accounts for the drool-smeared edges. Huh. Merton, I... I never knew you cared. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Well, I know that
Hillary Choate may have sold her soul, but she did stay true to her campaign promises. All in favor of cutting the budget of the Gothic Fantasy Guild, say aye. Aye! That's it! We're done! And I guess because I saved her soul, Hillary decided to leave my chicken fried steak alone. Thank you, Hillary. Very much. As for Mr. McGee, nobody's heard anything from him. Hey, big guy. But I'll bet whatever he's up to, he's got his hands full. Did you have a chance to look at that request for uh, a transfer out of sanitation? <laughs> no.